Hello everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel DIY Repairs. In one of my previous video whose link is given in the description box, we made a semi-automatic water level controller for motor pump with starter and without starter. Today we are going to make a fully automatic water level controller. There are so many circuit available in the market, but they all use microcontroller or IC. The circuit which we are going to make today have not been used any microcontroller or IC. It is very simple, cheap and effective. The best part of the circuit is that it uses 6 NPN transistor, BC148 and some other components like resistance, relay and diode. The cost of this circuit is less than rupees 100. So let us see the circuit diagram. Now assemble all the components according to the circuit diagram on general purpose PCB. To drive the relay, we need one more NPN transistor BC148.
this is our complete circuit board now let's test it to demonstrate it we are using transparent cylindrical container as a water tank and this 12 volt water pump the water pump gets negative supply directly from the 12 volt adapter and positive supply through the relays common pin and normally open pin Now put all the sensor wire inside this tank as shown in the figure earlier. This is the high level sensor, this is the low level sensor and at the bottom it is a common. When we will use this sensor wire actually in the water tank. Then we will use carbon or graphite rod at the end of the sensor wire to avoid rusting. You can see it in my previous video whose link is given in the description box. Where we use pencil graphite to make sensor probes. Now give 5 volt power supply to the circuit by this old mobile charger. Now let's give the power to motor and circuit. You can see that water pump starts filling the tank as there is no water in the tank. As soon as the water level reaches the upper probe, the motor automatically turns off and remains off until the water level drops below the lower level probe. Let's see how this circuit works. Basically this circuit uses one NOT gate and two NOR gates. This single transistor works as a NOT gate and this pair of transistor works as a NOR gate. These are the truth table of NOT and NOR gate. Now by assembling these gates according to the circuit and combining the truth table, we can see how the circuit works. We can see from the truth table that when high level and low level both are zero, then the output is one, that is the motor pump will run. When high level is 0 and low level is 1, then the output is still 1 and the motor pump continues running. The third case is not possible that is high level 1 and low level 0. In fourth case you can see that when both high level and low level is 1, then motor stops running.